Right, this is just some mass watch guidance on some of the mass watch exercises and it's good practice for you because quadratics is really easy once you get it. So all you need to do is be able to substitute and plot to answer exam questions on quadratics. So I always start with positive numbers because they're easier. So let's start with x equals 1 and we're substituting that into y equals x squared plus 1. So that means we let x equals 1 and squaring is the same as times in the number by itself. So that's 1 times 1 plus 1. So you know that that's going to equal 2. So we're just going to put 2 there. So for x equals 3, y equals, so it's x squared, so that's going to be 3 times 3 plus 1. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 plus 1 is 10, so y equals 10 here. Perfect. Now, the most common misconception is, the most common misconception is, is when we do negative numbers. Now, if you used to do this on the calculator, and type this into a calculator, minus 1 squared plus 1, the calculator uses bid mass, so it actually squares the 1 first, then puts the minus sign in, and it turns it into minus 1 plus 1, which will be 0. But in this instance, that is incorrect, because the calculator uses bid mass. So, generally these questions are non in the non-calculator paper. So, this is how you do it. x equals minus 1. So remember, it's y equals minus 1 times minus 1 plus 1. So if you're doing this on the calculator, guys, remember to just put a minus 1 round the bracket. In the bracket. So, minus 1 times minus 1, and negative times a negative is a positive. So that becomes 1 plus 1, which equals 2. So in fact, this is... 2 and remember I said that quadratics are symmetrical well you could see it's symmetrical here and I've drawn a graph for you and you can see that that answer is correct and this scale here just so you don't get confused is going up in twos So, let's do x equals minus 2. So that means y equals minus 2 times minus 2 plus 1. So that becomes 4 plus 1 equals 5. And you just put the 5 in there. And that's perfect and it does match with the graph. Now, they call this, use your graph to estimate the values of x when y equals 4. So you have to use the graph. You cannot solve here and just substitute y equals 4 in and try to solve it but you could do that to double check your answers so when y equals 4 let's draw the line I'm going to do a dotted line of y equals 4 here I'm going to continue on the other side so quadratics it could have two estimates can you see they intersect at that big x and that big x so you probably see that is probably approximately that's 1.5 here so that's probably going to be 1.7 or 1.8 so I'm going to say it's 1.7 and on the other side well it's symmetrical at 0 but you can see that's about minus 1.7 and if you type that into mass watch that will give you the right answer in the exam I would write it like this because like this looks like a coordinate almost but it's not it's not that those are the two different values for x for that solution hope that helps you so here again start with the positive first because it's easier x squared minus 2 so let's 1 1 times 1 is 1, minus 2, that's minus 1. Now let's do it for x equals 3. 3 times 3 is 9, minus 2, so that's 7. So remember, when x equals minus 1, this becomes y equals minus 1, times minus 1, 
minus 2. Now a minus times a minus is a positive, so that becomes 1. Then you have to work out 1 minus 2. So that's going to be minus 1. So you can check whether it's a quadratic graph. Can you see? That's the point of symmetry. And you can see the numbers. If the numbers are equal, like minus 2 and 2, this will equal 2 here. To double check your answer, I'll show you. So x equals 2. Y equals 2 times 2 equals 4. And then minus 2 is 2. And that's correct. Now, when the y equals 0, they sometimes say find the roots, which I did in another video for you. You need to know this key term. Those are the roots of the equation. So the roots are when y equals 0. That's the line y equals 0. So that looks like 1.4 and minus 1.4. So just write x in the exam. This is what I would want you to write for this question. And it does say use the graph, so we have to use the graph. Right, this is a more challenging version. And it's got three terms here. So if you're doing this on a calculator, I'd work it out term by term. And this is why I showed you this table method, because it helps you build up your skills. So give that a go, see if you can do it, pause the video. And I've added the four in just to give you a bit of extra challenge. So work out each term. So imagine if I was just trying to work out minus 2 first, but I always do like to start with the positive numbers first, because it's always easier. So minus 2 squared is 4, correct? Now minus 2 times minus 2, that's going to give us a 4 here, because negative times negative, that's the x. And 5, well, it stays as, as 5. So all you need to work out is 4, add 4, add 5. That's going to be 13. This is what I mean by working out which one term at a time. And then you can work out easy. So let's just try x equals 4 here. So y equals x squared minus 2x plus 5. So when x equals 4... So you've got 4 squared, 4 times 4, that's going to be 16. Minus 2 times 4, because you're substituting. So that's minus 8, plus 5, equals 3. So I'm going to show you x equals minus 1. So that's going to be y equals, and I'm going to show you the working out, minus 1 times minus 1. Now it's minus 2 times minus 1. I'm just going to put that bracket there so you can see what's going on. And then plus the 5. So that's going to be equal y equals 1. Now minus times minus becomes a positive, so plus 2 plus 5, and that's going to be y equals 8. And I'm going to show you that here. So hopefully, pause the video and give that a go now. And you don't need to use a table once you're good, but it's just breaking out each term by term with your substituting and then working it out and then plotting it afterwards. I'm going to show you the answers now. And if you've got that right, that's really good. You're practicing your substitution skill first and then adding the answers on each column at the end. And hopefully when I was talking to you about symmetry, you can see the point of symmetry is here. The line of symmetry, I mean. And you can see from this point, can you see the answers uh, reflections of each other here. So that's a good way to double check your answers sometimes. It doesn't work all the times depending on the numbers they use for x. 
and that's essentially it and then you can just fill in those values here and this works multiple skills because it's substitution as well so use the graph to estimate the values of x and y equals 6 give your answer to one decimal place so they don't make it clear here but you know when x is 1 y equals 4 so you know that is 4 if you get a tricky exam question this coordinate here so you know this one is going up in twos as well so y equals 6 is actually this line here draw the dotted line in because you look professional that way so that point is there and there so you'd want to write that down so in the exam I would say that is x equals 2.4 and x equals because you see where they meet minus 0.4 mass watch will probably want you to write it like this that's what the algorithm will understand that hopefully that makes sense to you now now part B is important to understand because those are always the questions that students get wrong and if it asks you does this have roots well this has no roots because you can see it doesn't cross zero at any point this line here so it has no roots or they sometimes consider that no solutions okay moving on so this one here if you fill in the table you'll be able to work out which graph it is so if you get that substitution when x equals 4 so 4 times 4 so y equals 4 times 4 which is 16 minus 4 times 4 which is 16 so y is 0 here let's do the positive numbers so when x equals 2 you can get 2 times 2 which is 4 minus 4 times 2 for the x here that's minus 8 so that's going to be minus 4 let's try x equals 1 up here so y equals 1 times 1 if you're going to want if you're going to need the full working out minus 4 times 1 remember bid mass so you have to work out those first so that y equals 1 minus 4 that's going to be minus 3 and minus 1 minus 1 times minus 1 is 1 now remember you're doing minus 4 times minus 1 here so that's going to be plus 4 minus times minus is a plus so y equals 5 here that's your table field in so which the grass match the curve well you've got your coordinates here so let's look at where is 4 x equals 4 and y equals 0 so what x equals 4 y equals 0 so that's x equals 4 y equals 0 let's plot 5 5 so when x equals 5 so can you see it's not this orange or brown line and let's go for the minimum point here x equals 2 y equals minus 4 so it's clear to see that that line is the blue line for B right so this is just substitution right so I'm just going to show you C that's x and that's y if it lies on the curve it must fit the equation of y equals x squared so let's substitute x equals 4 in so 4 times 4 will equal y and 16 does equal 16 so that's on the curve a half squared a half times a half does equal a quarter so that lies on the line well that's y equals x squared minus 1 times minus 1 for x here and y there so minus 1 times minus 1 is 1 so y does equal 1 so you're going to get 1 equals 1 that's right now I think it's clear that answer is A but I'll show you for y equals 
x squared, you're going to get does 9 over 2, because you're going to substitute that y value in and x value, and if they're equal, it's correct. So 3 over 2 times 3 over 2, if you remember you're multiplying for fractions across, and that actually becomes 9 over 4. Does 9 over 4 equal 9 over 2? No, it does not. So A is a question answer that is not on the curve. Hopefully that helps you guys a lot. Quadratics is uh, banker marks. Won't you understand it? Well done.